Most may awake to one or several things, only to slumber in other things while slumbering in everything else. Just because I or someone says something that you don't like or makes you feel uncomfortable does not mean that I or someone are wrong or being negative. Hello, it's December 2021. Now, I'd like to do a real quick video on people's perceptions. Now, some people perceive things that I say in my videos, posts, or even comments as being negative or not helping. And simply because someone does not like the facts and truths that I present because I don't present opinions, theories, beliefs, or wants does it mean that I'm being negative nor does it mean that it's not useful information there's a reality that we all share that a lot of people can't handle and I get people, a lot of people especially in today's world are living with fear anger, frustration and even depression because of life overall. And I, I understand that. And what I've been trying to share with people is reality. And it's better to prepare for a reality, the worst case scenario, for example, than to have, as I've said before, false hope. Now I've talked about uh, law becoming like theoretical mathematics, neither of which having a basis in reality. A legal system where 60% or more of people convicted of anything are actually innocent. Where we have Supreme Court rulings where someone pristinely innocent, everyone knowing this person is innocent, they can plead guilty if it's in their best interest. That there has to tell you something. And then when people are seeking, for example, legal remedies or even political remedies for whatever, it's delusional because of the precedent set for injustice. And I've talked about this extensively over the years even. Innocent people, for example, being convicted. And a lot of people probably most people never pay attention to that because well it hasn't hit home for them but now for example in today's world people are dealing with an onslaught of injustice and I'm not saying and I'm just going to interject here I don't tell people what to say think or do I just state the facts the truth says some might call it People don't like it and it's on other people to do whatever they th think is right but simply because I might say something share something that's uncomfortable for them doesn't mean that I personally am being negative nor for example am I stating or implying to go along with injustice I'm just simply stating, be prepared for the worst case scenario, because anything over and above is gravy. But there is that divide where some people see what I share as negative, not useful, and some people see it as positive and very useful. Am I responsible for either? And that's a rhetorical question. I really feel for a lot of people, especially in today's world, going through a lot and a lot of people don't have the mental skills to cope with anything. And that's why in today's world we see the need for, for example, safe spaces. Life is not a safe place to be and there are no safe places, but in this age of decadence, this is what people have become. People need to be strong. What's happening, and I've said this before, we are in the middle of a war of attrition, a test of strength, of character. 
And for people who can't handle a reality, for example, oh, do I have to say anything more? I really pray for everyone's well-being and to endure. And when I say I don't want to be right with everything, for example, that I've been predicting that has come true, I don't want to be right. But it's better to prepare for the worst, and that's not being negative. I just want to make that clear. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. In a world where everyone is assumed to be equal, how would you know when someone else comes along with more knowledge and understanding?